he was really a loving person. He never said I love you, but every action was screaming it. It was December 25th here at the Grande Rue de Montréal where 22-year-old Riley Valsain was on the job when he died in a workplace accident. A piece of Valsain's clothing was caught in one of the Ferris wheel's gears with the operator unaware at the time that Valsain was busy de-icing the ride. An investigation by Quebec's Worker Safety Board, the CNESST, found unsafe working conditions at Montreal's Old Port Ferris wheel. This series of reports completed by inspectors has been made public after an accident Access for information request from La Presse. And though it's not the final report, it gives us a glimpse into the circumstances that led to Riley's death. I remember that the last moment we shared, he, he came to see me in the stairs and touched my head. It was his way of saying, I love you. Riley was a civil engineering student at Polytechnic. His brother Joey remembers him as a driven, charismatic and loving man who was always ready to help others and lift people's spirits. Joey says he never could have imagined what would happen to Riley on Christmas Day when he went off to work. The CNESST investigation highlighted the ineffectiveness of many safety features in place at the time of the accident. The investigation revealing most operators had never read the ride's operation and maintenance manual and the only copy that existed at the administrative office was in English. I trust that um, the CNESST are doing everything uh, in their possibility to make sure that uh, La Grande Rue is a safe place. The Worker Safety Board also notes that the employer had failed to adequately inform workers of the risks associated with their work and does not provide them with the appropriate education, training and supervision to ensure that workers have the skills and knowledge required to safely perform their work. In a statement to City News, a spokesperson for the Grande Rue de Montréal says that this is not the final report from the CNESST. It's a compilation of intervention reports produced during the investigation investigation conducted since December 25th, 2021. We are still waiting for the publication of a final report from the CNESST with its conclusions. To date, all the corrective measures requested by the CNESST have been implemented and we are working closely with the CNESST to ensure the safety of employees and visitors. For the Valsain family, things have continued to be very difficult. Only months after Riley's work accident, Gamaniel Valsain, his father, was among the five victims of a small plane crash in the Haitian capital of Port-au-Prince in April. Make sure that you tell the people that you cherish that you love them every day because you never know when it's the last goodbye. In Montreal, Pamela Pagano, City News.